hello if you are in nigeria i'm going to be teaching you today how to create account with paypal that works right here in nigeria so work with me the first thing you do is to just log on to paypal.com you can just type paypal.com and it would uh, bring you to this website i'm going to show you a clear difference now when you look at the url here you will notice that you have slash ng all right now we don't want to use this because what you have access to just here is um to see just few things and you are highly limited with what you can do here so the first thing we do is to log on to paypal.com slash ls that's all you need to enter here just press your enter key and then it loads up the different view now you can see the different view here you have personal you have business you have this and that okay so what you want to do is to click on sign up and then go ahead to create an account now um ls is actually lesotho okay lesotho right so you can just search for that that's actually the country that you're using the um short code there okay so what you want to do is to create an account you can create a personal or a business account um and then you can see their differences the first one shows you that you can shop in your country and around the world from your computer and a mobile or without sharing your financial and then second one accept payments and invoices and all that I'm using a uh, business account if you have a registered business you can also go ahead and use that but whichever one you choose all can work so just click on um continue now you mustn't have a fully registered business to actually do this now why you need to register your business later on is just to um, grant you access to do other verifications in case uh, maybe you start having high amounts and then they need you to verify to prove that you actually own this business then you can go ahead and do that so you go ahead and enter the email address you're going to use i'm going to just uh, quickly enter something here um okay we can have a password Okay, so you put the business contact, the Lego first name. Okay, um, I'm gonna just use uh, a domain name here. Then the business detail. Then here, just don't get too worried. Just go ahead and select Nigeria. and then put in your phone number phone number so i'm going to just fill up mine then you go ahead and put up all other details you need here okay so don't fill in the required field they, they ask you in this question is it a, what business type is that is it um a corporation a partnership business a sole proprietor business you can just go ahead and select the one you want and then put in other things that are ne needed okay you want to select the country or region you want to select nigeria here don't be afraid to select nigeria go ahead and select nigeria and then click on continue you want to put up the product or service i can say web development so you select the one complete programming data processing and all you can choose whatever business you want there set up the dates you can now go ahead and change your nationality back to nigeria here now don't worry all these wouldn't give you any issue so put up a date here you can use the actual actual information here okay so i'm just doing this for the sake of this training the ID type, national ID, passport, driver's license. So choose the one you have and then go ahead and put up the number. So I'm going to just put up a W number here and then we'll go ahead, set up the home address and then submit. Now you are needed to put in this one house. Like I said, this is a domain address. So just fill up that and then go ahead to do the next thing you requested to do so once you're done with that you actually have a paypal account now that is active okay so the next thing you've been needing to know is how to do a lot of things how you can um, um go ahead and um, receive payments or make payments now you have an email address you've um used for this sign up process 
all you need to do is once you want to receive a payment you can go ahead and give the person that email and once the person pays you receive it directly here and you see that in your balance now if you also want to request money like an invoice for a business okay you can just go ahead and click on that and then make your request put the name or the email of the person you want to request from and then go ahead so i want to request from um, john so you're going to put that there now there's nobody like that so you can put in the exact um, um detail of the person and then once you put an email of someone who is active directly here so if i put on my email okay, you can see you can go ahead and make a request directly and then click on next and then request the amount you want to um, request and then with that's completed you'll be able to place your request so once you send that request the person can just use the link to get that now another thing you can also do is to go ahead and make other changes you need to do in your profile do any other account settings you need to do and see you can change your password directly from here i'm going to change uh, um, the phone number i used here so it doesn't conflict with mine out now and try again okay so that works so we can remove this one now and this represents uh the phone number we have here you can also do a lot of other settings that you want to do directly in your account there's two-step verification set up a security question just for account security okay you can always close the account anytime you want Okay, so you want to pay and get paid, so you can create invoice and do a whole lot of other things here. You can check out the App Center to see a lot of features you want to see, different uh, activities you want to perform, whether trans to see your transactions, to open a case or close the case, and all other things. Now, for developers, you might also want to access the API, so you can get that from here, API access directly here. Okay, so that's just that. You can go ahead and play around the account and see what you can get with that. So the basic thing you want to do is to receive money. And I've told you that's just possible by um, going ahead to either request money, send an invoice, or use the PayPal.me configuration. So you can go ahead and configure PayPal.me. So that creates an automatic landing page for you. So with this, you go ahead and create, add your photo and all that. Now, when you are done creating that, you would have something like this. I'm going to just use uh, mine to show you. PayPal.me slash. So, now, if you send someone this link, they will automatically see it this way. So, you can um, use this to either send money to this person or you request a payment for this person. That's if you're logged in into your account. Now, but if the person is um, directly somewhere else, now I'm logged in as John Doe, that's why they gave me that option that way. I'm going to just go back and um, still open that again. PayPal.me slash watching ads that way. Okay, that should open the payment page that way. Okay, so if I was logged in, I would just be given the option to uh, make the payment, either send the payment to the person or request the payment from the person. So that's just that for the link. So I believe you've seen how to use this and um, I hope that in the next tutorial that um, you get to see how we can also withdraw from this. So I'm going to just quickly log into my own account and then I'm show you how transactions have been happening here. Okay, I'm going to quickly log into my account. Okay, you can see that it's possible to actually send and receive money directly here i have been receiving and also been sending this one was um sent out this one was also received this was re uh, sent out too you can also see all other transactions just that way so you can use this option to send money or to receive money from foreign clients uh, with paypal so that's just that if you have questions feel free to drop them in the comment section and um, i hope that in the next video you would also be seeing how to go ahead and uh, um receive your money directly in naira so to your local bank in nigeria here you'll be able to 
receive for example you have this money here you can comfortably receive that in there so you'll be seeing that in the next tutorial see you soon please don't forget to like um comment and um, subscribe to this channel thank you